10 and set, the Indian Hills Senior Community in Euclid report a rash of vehicle vandalism. Cars and parking lots scratched up and tires slashed. Some residents are now terrified and calling for better security. They reached out to News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis for help. Joe, tenants say apartment security is working with Euclid police. So how, just how long has this been going on? Rob, tenants report the vandals have been on the loose for the past three weeks. Residents say two vehicles with four flat tires had to be towed out of the Indian Hills parking lot on a flatbed trailer in just the past three days. I love this, that vehicle the same as I love my mother when she was living. Lou Graham is talking about his 2011 Cadillac SRX, the vehicle now immobilized at the repair shop with four flat tires. The SUV scarred with multiple tire puncture wounds and body side panel slash marks. I cried like a baby. It pierced my heart. Lou, who is a 28-year Army veteran, says other tenants at the Indian Hills Apartments in Euclid reported similar vehicle vandalism while their cars were here at the property parking lots. Euclid police were called in, but Lou says victimized tenants have been given little support from apartment leadership. Management hasn't called me, say nothing. Uh, Mr. Graham, what can we do or nothing? It just hurts you to the core. Lou, who now needs to use a scooter to get around, says the vandalism totaled more than $1,100 in repairs with more than $600 that he had to pay out of pocket. But it didn't stop there. A week after he got all his tires replaced, the vandal struck again. All four new tires destroyed. Last time, when they cut the first four tires, uh, the insurance company is taking care of me. And this time, I don't know what's going on. I woke up in the morning and discovered that I had a flat tire, my front right passenger. Fellow tenant Tracy, who was too afraid to give us her last name, also believes she too is a victim. How alarming is it that these cars are getting vandalized like this? And it's happening quite often. And so if you had cameras, I think that would deter the problem. News 5 reached out to Indian Hills Property Management and even spoke to a member of its security team by phone about this situation. But so far, the apartment complex has not issued a statement about the status of parking lot security here. Meanwhile, this Army veteran says he's thinking about moving out in the coming months and says he's taking some security measures of his own. I just put bullets in my 38 today. Military man don't go without some stuff. And Mr. Graham says when his Cadillac is again repaired with four new tires, he won't be bringing it back to the Indian Hills parking lot. Robbie says he'll leave it in storage until the vandals are caught or when he finally decides to move out. Yeah, I just feel awful for all of them. So what's the status of the investigation? Is building security working on this? Any leads? Rob, we're still waiting to hear back from the security team. Meanwhile, if you have any information about this vandalism, you should contact the Euclid Police Department. You know we'll follow through on this developing story, Rob. Joe Paganakis on the case. Thank you, Joe.